first comes the equipment check. It should slide down. Then the load up. Don't need to grab any of this stuff. Yeah. Making sure that everything has been double and triple checked. I'm just giving a heads up. I appreciate it. Before setting off to complete a course that will take them more than 30 feet under the water. If your mask feels completely up, you've done something wrong, okay? Take it off, okay? Uh, Air consumption, watch your air. Charlotte okay. County Fire and EMS Excellent Battalion Chief ball. Matthew McElroy instructing his students on proper procedures while performing a new type of rescue diving technique called rapid diver. So you're gonna make an entry into the water, uh, swim down to the car, get the victim out of the, uh, out of the car and swim them to the surface. The rapid this diver course was written by McElroy through NAWI, the National Association for Underwater Instructors, which approved the program. Rapid divers use a smaller air tank to basically come on scene and jump into action. We just watch the buoys on both sides. After a short boat ride out into the Gulf, they got to their training ground. The students started prepping their gear. Hey, guy, we're webbing out of your gear. Hey, we doing mask, helmets Sarah. or no? Yes. The rapid diver packs are smaller. Lightweight. I was gonna use that one. Okay, yes. Yeah. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. But with less air, divers really need to check their gauges. With instructors ready, the first student takes the plunge. Diver in the water. The first test tested the student's ability to locate a subject within limited visibility. We have simulated a car, underwater car, as a, the dive, one of the dive platforms, as if a car were to drive off of a canal into the water. The mock vehicle was nearly 33 feet below the surface. Top side, diver one, radio check. With a two-way communication ready, divers down below had to open a door to get into the vehicle, secure the victim, and then ascend to the surface to get the patient on the boat. The difficulties in the rapid diver is obviously the, the visibility and finding the person. The second scenario tested the student's stamina. We also simulated today a rescue of a diver who was lost or disoriented underwater. Currently, the county has 17 divers certified in rapid diver program, adding one more tool in saving residents' lives should the need arise. Chief, did everybody pass? For CCTV, I'm Tom Lloyd.